Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today and happy launch day for the conservation pack coming to Planet Zoo. If you're watching this video right when it goes live, the conservation pack will be out and ready for you to get your hands on it in just about an hour. If this is the first video that you're seeing today, we are going through all of the new habitat species. There are four of them and taking a look at all of their in-game needs, the enrichment items they can use and all of the animals animations. In order of recording, this is the fourth and final one, but if this is the first one you're seeing, there are three more for you to see on the channel. But in this one, as you can tell, we are going to be taking a look at the scimitar horned oryx and talking all about it. So before we jump into the Zoopedia, let's take a look at all of the enrichment items the oryx can use. The two scratching trees, scratching a pillar, the new scarecrow that came in the Europe pack and then a few other items down here. Really honestly not a lot. Um, less than the Chevalsky's wild horse that we looked at uh, previously. So those are all the enrichment items. I have a few of them in here and we'll take a look at some of their animations. Ah look at the baby running around. We'll get to them. They're adorable. They're very very cute. But let's go ahead and take a look at their Zoopedia so that we can see uh, all about them. So they are considered extremely Extinct in the wild, which is another perfect fit for the conservation pack, obviously, because that is the focus of the pack. You can read about them if you'd like. Going to the natural habitat tab, we can see in uh, Africa is where they are originally found. They like the desert and grassland biomes. Uh, the reintroduction sites are listed here, and then these are their habitat needs for one two, three, four, five. It's counting with Savannah. <laughs> However many you want, you got to do these tabs up and down. I won't go to infinity because that would take way too long uh, and not be possible. But anyway, that is their habitat needs and their fence requirements there. If we go to their species data tab, we can see they like to be in groups of three to 11 with only one male and up to 10 females. If they are just a male bachelor group, three to 40, same thing for females. And then dominance is gonna be one dominant male per group, hence why they only like one of them. Uh, their mating system, relationship with humans, and then no guests cannot enter their habitat. They are going to be a shy animal, so keep that in mind for franchise mode. They're going to be ones that get pretty stressed pretty easily. Our favorite, isn't it? <laughs> if we go to their interspecies enrichment tab, you can see they can actually share an enclosure with quite a few species. Being a desert savanna biome antelope species, I'm not shocked by these, so going to be in your kind of open safari habitats and fit right in with the buffalo, the ostrich, the zebra, and the giraffe. So very cool for an addition to some interspecies mixed habitats. Uh, so yeah, so that is all of the enrichment and the Zoopedia. Let's go ahead and jump in to take a look at some of the animations. There are not too many. This is probably going to be the shortest video that I record, uh, but let's go ahead and, and take a look at them. Starting off with some grazing, of course, they're going to hang around and just kind of munch on some grass and wiggle their little heads and ears. And it's a fairly simple animation. Um, all of the hoofstock species really do it in game. But what's even cuter is the babies. Here's the little baby oryx doing its grazing. It's got to spread its legs a little bit further apart to reach that head to the ground. I love the coloration on these guys too. And their little itty bitty horns are just the absolute cutest. Uh, I love them. Uh, laying down is the next animation we're going to take a look at. Pretty self-explanatory. Going to tuck those legs under themselves and kind of uh, scoot them out to the side to lay on the ground. And eventually, sometimes if they lay down long enough, they fall asleep like this. And so this is their little napping animation. Not too much to say about this. Other than they're asleep, they do some slight wiggles here and there. And that's pretty much it. Moving on to some eating. Of course, they're going to use the same kind of feeder that many of the other hoofstock animals use. Um, not a very exciting animation. Pretty much the exact same 
thing as the grazing. They do have an itching animation here. We'll see it one more time with a couple of them, but they're just going to turn their heads and itch. I was really hoping, and I don't actually know if they do this in real life, that they would kind of itch with their horns, uh, but they didn't, they didn't end up having that. This is their mating animation, which I actually thought was pretty interesting. It gets a little bit glitchy, like with their back legs, but I thought it was interesting. They kind of circle each other and kind of groom each other's neck. Um, but yeah, that's their mating animation. And then last but not least, we have a scratching animation on the tree. This is the tree enrichment item. We'll watch it one more time because it's really hard to guess which side they're going to itch on when I would stop to record. So I didn't get it on the first time, but here is the second one you can see. Just itches the head and then goes along and itches the entire body. Overall for the orcs, not anything brand new as far as animations go, but still very excited about the animal being added to game. I did watch for quite a while to see if there was any adult baby animation and I honestly didn't see any. So if you guys do happen to see them, please do let me know. Um, I waited a while, but eventually I had to give up because this video had to go out on time. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, of course, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment down below. And until next time, I will talk at you guys in the next video. Bye.